Parang kailan lang noong tinanong natin yung bigati kong kaibigan kung papano i-pronounce ang bajaj. Malamat. People are saying sometimes it's baja, baha, bahaj, and all of that. So, um, we're gonna talk to a very good friend of mine. This is CJ Wasu. Hello. What's up, my friend? Good. CJ is my bandmate with Cynthia Alexander. If you guys don't know Cynthia Alexander, siya rin po yung kapatid ni Joey Ayala. Mag-research naman kayo. Magandang tugtugan yun. <laughs> okay. So, regarding this brand, how do you yeah. pronounce it? Bajaj. C, C, yung mga na ipagtalo pa sa, Bajaj. I even told them, mm -hmm. Kawasaki uh, Philippines, they have been saying it's Bajaj. But let's talk to a legit Indian guy. He is born and raised there. It's, it's been Bajaj ever since. Yes. Okay, thank you so much for your time, CJ. I know you're thank very you, busy. Jack. Pare, pautang naman, oh. <laughs> oh, negosyo na. <laughs> well, eto na sila. Finally, we have the latest Dominar 400 in our hands. Some of the improvements we have on the engine side is that mas malakas na siya ngayon at 40 HP with 35 Nm of torque at 6,500 RPM. Yung dati kasi, it was at 39.43 HP at 35 Nm of torque at 8,800 RPM. So, you needed to rev it more to get more power out of it. This one, you're getting more torque at lower RPM. So, that's the improvement right there. And despite all of that, nabawasan pa nila yung vibration. It is for stroke of course, double overhead cam tayo with their trademark D. TSI. Size-wise, we are slightly longer and slightly taller. Inverted forks na tayo and then meron din tayong slipper clutch assist which I absolutely appreciate. Because of that, yung downshifting natin, it's now smoother. And because of this, mas reduce yung bilis na magkakaroon tayo ng tire and gearbox wear. Mas matagal bago natin sila palitan. Lesser na rin yung jerking natin when shifting. Dual channel ABS tayo and that's always a good thing. Frame natin is also more rigid and more stable as per the manufacturer, yung design ng tambucho natin, double barrel. So, yung resulta niyan, we have now a beefier tone and more aggressive styling. This time around, meron din tayong USB charger, top box bracket, taller windshield, handguard, and a metal base plate. So, essentially, yung mga bago natin with this bike as compared to the old. Taking a look at our Kawasaki Bajaj Dominar 400, the new one. Of course, highway legal, all of that. Pasok sa lahat. I just want to recommend kung paano rin ang design sense ni Dominar, no? ni, ni Bajaj Kawasaki, in terms of sport. They have a, a distinct style na sila lang. <laughs> Something about the arc of their tank, it's appealing. Maraming bumili sa Dominar sa atin. I remember when we first launched that latter part ata ng 2017 year, middle 2017, one of the highest viewed videos sa makina for that year. Nung lumabas yung Dominar, as in grabe. And the appeal here is because of one, Kawasaki, Bajaj, great combination there. Number two, it looks great. Maganda yung design niya. And 
Siyempre, highway bike tayo, which is a great appeal for everybody for the price. Take a closer look in terms of appearance and materials used, you know, Kawasaki Bajaj. Pretty primo tayo ngayon, okay naman siya. This is something a bit different for me. I'm not used to seeing something like this. This tells me it's shedding off more weight, di ba? Medyo bawas tayo ng weight dito pag ganito yung style natin. It might look flimsy to some people, pero actually, pati ba ito, yung mga ganitong klaseng design natin at magaang. Ating frame, solid siya. Very distinct yung ating side bracket. Makikita naman natin dito kung saan yung patungan ng pillion natin. Yun lang, I wish that they would figure out a way na kung ayaw ko nito, alam ko, madali lang naman na ipofold mo lang naman yan para wala ka ng pillion. Pero kung hindi ako, wala akong balak magpaangkas, sana matatanggal ko to na hindi nadadama yung mga iba, ba diba? Parang separate lang siyang bracket na tinanggal ko siya lang. But this is connected to this and this is connected to our bracket bracket for the exhaust. So, you're stuck with that. Kung tatanggalin mo naman yung peg lang via these screws here, meron kang lawit dito. So, you, you gotta leave it there. Well, thought na ginawa nila, pasok naman sa linya yung pagka-fold. ba? Diba? Hindi siya naka-fold papunta dito. Sinunda naman niya yung linya natin dito, ba? Diba? Yung pagka-fold niya. So, malinis na rin. What I also wish that Dominar could also do, if there's a way to scrunch up pa natin yung ating catalytic dito sa ilalim para maabante pa natin tong tambucho para makita pa natin yung rear wheel kasi ang ganda ng rear wheel natin diba para styling lang actually <laughs> this is all about style nothing about performance I mean as it is Dominar, Dominar, Bajaj, Kawasaki I mean subok na siya diba but yun nga lang kung maisipan lang nila urong pa nila yung catalytic suksok nila somewhere else para maabante natin yung tambucho labas na labas yung rear wheel natin so habang ganda nyan the tires that they used here these are the MRT revs Kapit naman siya. Okay naman siya. These are the tires na puputpurin muna natin bago natin papalitan. ABS tayo, of course. Trademark DTSI. They have that there. Nice touch here. Skid plate natin to protect the underbelly of the engine. This is hard plastic. And you got aluminum over here. So that's swell. And I like na meron tayong pop dyan na aluminum. Also, upside down forks na tayo. Yung ating mukha. Naalala nyo ba yung Transformers nung 80s? Nalaman ko na lang sa kuya ko, hindi pa ako pinapanganak nung 80s kasi. But, I remember in the 90s, when I was growing up, binalikan ko yung 80s na yan, pinanood ko. Si Megatron, naging Galvatron. Parang eto siya ngayon, di ba? With the whole cowl. Parang naging Galvatron na siya. So, yung Luman Dominar si Megatron, ngayon siya na si Galvatron. Nice beefy forks, pretty good. But me, di ditch ko tong crash guard. I mean, I don't like crash guards for daily use. Unless it's a super big adventure bike, maybe. So, in terms of the seat, okay naman siya. But I change the upholstery. Nah, okay pa siya. I wouldn't. Okay naman yung quality. Firm yung ating foam. Medyo malalim naman yung baba niya. Okay naman siya. Pillion, oh, itong, itong gusto ko sa Kawasaki Bajaj Tandem. They're very mindful of commuter sporty bikes. Ito, okay ito pang angkas. Meron kang foam, di ba? Hindi siya parang mema lang. Oh, may maliit pang backrest to, di ba? Backrest! Lower backrest! If we fire it up, you're gonna see two displays over here. You can see where your gear is at there. Oras natin, odometer. Dahil nilipat nila yung ibang info dito, you have a sleeker, smaller panel dito rin. Tandalin natin yung plastic. Sarap ito gawin eh. Ooh. So there. Pretty straight up. You ask me. You got your buttons to sort that out over here. Reset and all of that. That's what you get. I think a nice touch to the display is kung pwede tayo maglagay ng konting kaprichohan. For example, pwede yung palitan yung kulay. Di ba? Pwede siyang gawin pula or orange or amber or what not. But as it is, it's pretty much straight up. You're gonna access this through this. In terms of quality here, okay naman siya. I'd probably change the grips. The mirrors, okay ako sa mirrors. Yan ang mga gusto ko. Nice, beefy mirrors. Hindi lang yung parang may barge na. Yun na yun, di ba? Ito, at least ginawa nila ng content drama. I like how this is working over there. Nice and tight too. Hindi siya luwagin. So, mirrors are okay. Quality of the handlebars are also okay. Maganda naman siya. Layout is pretty fine. You have a USB charging port over here, which is also great, I think. Medyo praning lang ako pag nakataas, nakatingala sa heavens yung ating USB port. Even if meron tayong cover because of our rains in our country. I would prefer if this was hidden somewhere else na or maybe nakatago sa screen para hindi talaga rekta sa ulan, di ba? But yun nga, hindi naman ako engineer. Maybe they tested this already and maybe it's fine that wala tayong problema dyan. But that's pretty convenient. Stick it in here and you can slap your gadget here, phone, or pag nakaupo ka dito, your belt bag, and you're fine. Nice touch also sa atin hand guards. Meron tayong hand shield dito, which is pretty okay. So overall, this is like a sport naked na may, may look siya na 
paano ba? Pwede ka mag-adventure, na pwede ka mag-offroad maybe. Maglarayos tayo, of course, ang gagawin natin yan. Ooh, look at that sound. Low, beefy sound. Low tone. Lakas din. Lakas din. Ah, baka macho pakinggan. <laughs> paano, paano? Okay, so, take a look at the light. Ta-da! This is also LED oversight. I like how this is looking. I mean, compared to the older one. So, ito okay din siya. Looking at what we have here. Signal lights. And for the brakes, that's what we have. Chanelis check. This is how big the gauge is. Pretty slim. Size 11 Chanelis. Gauge, size 11 chinelas, gauge. And with the seat, there you go. There you go. There you go. Now, in terms of this being a sport naked, sometimes nga, di ba, as I say, pasubsub yung ating seat, pababa, and sa katagalan, mapapa forward ka dito sa tank. And if you're a guy, that can be uncomfortable because that's what we call the IBS or Epit Betlog Syndrome. But with the Dominar, Medyo parallel yung upuan natin, even if when you're sitting, so it's not pushing your crotch towards the tank. So wala tayong ipit betlog syndrome going on here. It's, it's fine. Very comfortable on that one. So again, very utilitarian sila. We got these straps here that can accommodate saddlebags. Meron, may saddlebags for the dominar din eh. So abang-abang tayo dyan. If you have your own, you can have like a little hook here, hook here. Put your bag there and put a net there. Meron silang provision dito. And I guess it's also a matter if you wanna, if you feel uncomfortable with this sticking out, it's a matter of unscrewing the seat and just hiding it underneath kung hindi mo siya type. I also like the idea na meron tayong abang dito for more storage. Meron tayong bracket, di ba? No excuses. So, Kawasaki Bajaj with the Dominar, they made this for the everyday rider. People who wanna go out on adventure, people need to go to work, people na may kailangan may dala parate. Yeah, loaded. It's it's all there already, which is great. Ngayon, nakakatuwa din dito, naglagay din sila ng bracket. And you can mount your phone here already or you can also mount your GoPro camera. So, galing. Incorporated din siya dito sa housing ng ating gauge. So, hindi siya parang mema lang gawa-gawa. They really fabricated and made something new for this purpose. So, for people like me who makes content, <laughs> okay to, di ba? Kakabit ko na dyan. I'm not looking for space here in the handlebar. Diyan ko na siya kakabit. So, okay siya. Some comments here. I don't know if it's gonna jack up the price, but maybe a lever para maakit baba natin yung windscreen natin. I think that might be a good idea. Especially for those who are taller like myself. Gusto konting taas, konting baba. So, it can adjust. Now, in terms of the color scheme, eh ko, it's a mood thing. I'm looking for more color nowadays. I wanna see bright red, some blue, some yellows perhaps, or even a green dominar, di ba? Kasi meron tayong, it's, it's Kawasaki, Bajaj. Yung mga ganun ba, yan ang mga hinahanap ko ngayon. Just more color, more playfulness in the color. I think it's a mood thing. Although, yes, a few years ago, I have always been a plain colored bike type of guy. I like darker colors, more sleek, just simple. Pero I don't know, things change, moods change, tastes change. And sa akin, I wanna see more pop with color and I think that would be great. The Kawasaki Bajaj Dominar 400 has a solid cult following and sa nakita natin, it is understandably so. Para sa akin, kung sasaba ka na sa big bike galing small displacement bike, eto na yung isa sa mga may saisay na first bike mo. I mean, tata Kawasaki, Bajaj, meron piyesa of course, matibay siya, nas, I mean, subok na, ba? And like what I said, Bajaj is one of the 
biggest motorcycle brands in India and their collaboration with Kawasaki, that, that's something right there. Sa panahon ngayon at 208,900, napaka-compelling ng value proposition niya. I mean, look at the bike. Pansinin siya eh, di ba? And makaka-highway ka na. Even sa mga sanay sa big bike, pwede rin siya. I mean, madali siyang gamitin, chill lang din, and maporma. Now, some room for improvement because like what I always say, walang perfectong motor. I feel that maybe Kawasaki Bajaj can take a step to more tech-savvy features. Like maybe pwede tayo mag-incorporate ng app that can integrate their phones with the bike. I think, you know, that may be a good thing. And lastly, because of what we have seen with the previous Dominar and the reputation it garnered, perhaps, you know, I, I mean, I'd like to see more presence of this bike in enduro or adventure sports. Kasi kayang-kayang sumabak ang Dominar sa mga ganyan. Congratulations, Kawasaki Bajaj. Welcome, welcome the all-new Dominar 400. This is Zag for Makina Moto Features. Ciao! Anyone who's ever played a part Anyone who's ever been lonely Ooh, and anyone who's ever split apart Oh, sweet chain Sweet chain Sweet, sweet Yeah.